Solemn ceremony tonight at the Museum of Tolerance. Minutes ago, thousands of candles lit at the exact moment Hamas fighters invaded Israel and slaughtered 1,200 civilians. The massacre triggering a year of deadly conflict, which has now consumed the Middle East. KCAL News reporter Lori Perez was at tonight's event. Lori. Yes, this was a touching and somber event. Organizers say it was designed to remember the loss, but also to unite in hope for healing and for the release of nearly 100 hostages who Israel says remain in Gaza held by Hamas. You can see here we are in the courtyard of the Museum of Tolerance, where, as you mentioned, about 25 minutes ago, in one of the most striking moments, 1,100 candles were placed lit in honor of the victims of that day. The candles illuminated at 836 p.m. the moment one year ago when the attacks began in Israel at the Supernova Music Festival. Tonight, Mayor Karen Bass addressed the crowd along with Jewish leaders and a rescued hostage named Andre Koslov spoke. The crowd silenced by his story of survival. He was held hostage for eight months and one day. It was not the last chapter of my life. Something better is coming and here I am with a lot of opportunities, I became some kind of voice of hostages and I'm able to speak. So I predicted myself that something better is coming. Today we must continue our prayers for safety and peace. As conflict rises in the Middle East, we often see a troubling rise in anti-Semitism around the world, including here in LA. So let me unequ be unequivocally clear, anti-Semitism has ap Absolutely no place in L.A. And this is why we're here tonight. In this room, Jews and non-Jews, elected officials, leaders from the Muslim Sikh, various Christian denominations, and different ethnic and cultural groups coming together in solidarity to commemorate and publicly demonstrate that we are not alone. Now, these candles will remain lit for 24 hours, and tributes like this one will continue over the next 24 hours here in L.A. There is another major event planned for tomorrow night as well. We're live in Pico Robertson. I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. All right, Lori, thank you so much.